I hail from Spain, but I've lived in New York City for 15 years almost. And I've been playing music since I was, I think, four years old. It's music has been with me all my life. I try to, um, to have a take on the music, in other words. What do I think about how th what this composer wrote and how do I think this music could come alive? And we have to um, unlock or, or, or free the music from its notation and bring it into life. But always from the starting point of trying to understand what the composer was trying to get at. And I try, and if I succeed it's a great high, and if it does, I don't, well, I have to wait until the next opportunity to be able to try. work is I guess happening before you play but um, after you've done all that rational conscious work the, when you play it's almost I think for, for me like going into a trance you have to almost suspend rational judgment and let let the music unfold naturally by itself and sometimes we don't let it do that but at best we, we can not interfere with it simply happening Audience is always the addressee, and you know, without an addressee, you don't have a, a letter, you don't have a communication. And, and they they basically finish finish the work, they finish the performance through their listening and their their reception of it. So in a way, they get the best part of it if it happens beautifully. I'm very happy to be playing here at my friend's series. I met Ilona five years ago, and I'm happy to know that she's organizing these wonderful concerts in New York City that, that I think invigorate the classical music scene a lot, so I'm happy to be part of it. Mm -hmm.